Hello and welcome back to the channel. I'm Marcus from Remsec Governance and in today's video we're going to be talking about what information security governance is and how it benefits you and your business. So what is information security governance? Basically information security governance or InfoSec governance or IS governance is the process which allows you, the business, to control and direct the approach on how you handle information security. When this is performed correctly, implementing the governance will allow your business to efficiently coordinate and manage the security activities of the business. This means that it will help you manage the flow of information as well as helping you to define the decisions around the business regarding the information security. So when it comes to security within the business, it's not just about one person who has the sole responsibility to manage the, all aspects of information security within your business. It's the responsibility of everyone, whether it's from the board of directors or the owner, all the way down to the cleaner or security guards. Everyone should be aware that they have a say when it comes to security. But how do you go about implementing information security governance within your business? Unfortunately, there's not a one-size-fits-all approach to this. It would be nice if there was, but what works normally works for one business may or may not work for another. For example, one business who may implement ISO 27001 or have other standardised frameworks in place may go for a more formalised approach, whereas a smaller business may go for more an informal approach and just go around um, PSA and words and um, just talk and discuss. One thing, however, that you may uh, need to be aware of, though, is that if you do go down the informal route, you should still ensure that you have a documented framework in place. This way, staff within the business know what to do and what everyone else uh, needs to do and what's expected of them. For example, if you um, base your security governance on an ad hoc request and management, then things could quite easily go uh, wrong. So how do you decide how to structure and formalize your governance? Well, you could start by asking yourself the following questions. How large and complex is your business? Do you have multiple sites? Is it international? Do you already have some uh, technical resources within your business, like a dedicated IT team? If you do have a dedicated IT team, IT team, do you already have some informational security expertise within this environment? Do you already have logging in place for Auden? Have you worked out how important the security of your information is? What would happen if your information was lost or stolen? Do you have any external um, considerations to be aware of? For example, do you have um, suppliers, contractors that come on site? Do you have a managed reception or can anyone just walk into your office? Once you've asked yourself all these questions, then you should be in a good place to understand what security decisions need to be made, or at least have a foundational understanding in place. Second, you should also know how to bring in as who, who you need to bring in as part of your governance team. Lastly, you should have, uh, have the information available to start building your framework and implementing your information security governance. This is all fair enough, and there's a lot of buzzwords in place in this video, uh, which for large organisations, spit the words out, for large organisations, this is pretty fine uh, sense. But what about for smaller, non-technical companies? What should your approach to governance be? Basically, you should look at your business locations, identify any external people who have access to locations and possibly information, physical assets, identify who should be responsible for security within the business. Uh, this should be across all levels and you should have buy-in from your management team. You should ensure that you have accountability in place and that you have feedback is provided back to the stakeholders of the company. Lastly, you should also identify your business goals and priorities and what uh, the requirements are for this project. Why do you want to implement information security? Why do you want to get, uh, what do you want to get out of it? Why do you want to implement it by? When do you want to implement it by? What do you want to safeguard? And the list goes on. One thing you should be aware of when it comes to information security governance is that there isn't a wrong way to do things. What works for you may or may not work for another company. Don't just overcomplicate a solution just because someone else is doing it that way. But you should make sure that you document, record and have owners of processing throughout the whole process. You should ensure that people are an owner of a certain part of the framework and always start off slowly. Once your framework is started, look at it tweak it out as you grow in confidence and identify areas that either need more work or don't work as expected. The governance framework is a living framework and should not be forgotten about. And that is it. I hope this video has been informative for you. It is a quick introduction into information security governance. 
Um, if you like the video, if you'd like to know more about it, you know, feel free to put a comment in below the video. Like the video so we know that you've actually looked at it and um, it's of interest to yourselves. And with that, I'll see you next time. Thanks. Thank <laughs> you.